guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas from me and my Lapland jumper. I will leave this linked, but pre-warning, I actually had to get this in a few sizes too big, which is why it's like this, because there was no sizes left, but I really, really wanted it. So I will leave it linked, but it probably will be out of stock. Today is actually going to be a full day of editing because I have loads of vlogs to get done and loads of like little bits and pieces to send off to brands and stuff. But a big parcel has just turned up from White Company of stuff that I bought in Black Friday sales. And I wanted to kind of do my like office revamp in this video because I have some cushions and stuff going on the day bed, which ugh, I say office revamp, I'm still waiting on the lamp to turn up and like a few other bits and pieces, but I thought I would do like as much as I can right now so like i need to move some bits out of here i need to put some bits around i'm just gonna make it look a bit cuter basically because at the moment it's just a bit of a mess like i'm trying to like hide my addresses but there's just like stuff kind of everywhere which isn't good and i also think this still just kind of looks like a bed so i'm very excited to get the cushions onto it as always i will link absolutely everything that i put in this video but i need to get things out and start cleaning so I'm gonna set you up on a tripod in the corner. The tripod's already in the corner. And then we're gonna get going. Oh, actually, let me show you something first because I've just spotted it. So I had a delivery from two of my best friends the other day and they basically ordered me, this is part one. So they gave me a book that has every single Instagram picture I've ever posted and screenshots of all my feed. And they'd screenshotted like loads and loads of times through my following growing, like especially when it started like boosting up from 80K. So they gave me like a whole book that's basically like, my getting to 100k which i thought was really cute and then they also got me these which is the cutest thing ever so i've got 100k balloons that <laughs> they keep spinning so we're just going to pretend that's the right way around but how cute and it like perfectly fits on this wall as well and matches my tree so thank you very much tash and amelia i really appreciate those i think it's the cutest thing ever and i really didn't expect anything so like heartwarming moment but let me sort Oh, we need to sort this room out. Oh my god. Right, we're going to start by taking parcels out that don't belong in here and getting scissors to open the parcels that do. Hey, sir. This day bed is actually the most handy thing ever. So basically, let me try and show you. So it's like a single bed, but then it pulls out to be a king size bed, and the drawers underneath perfectly fit all of my spare bedding. So I've got like a spare sheet pillow cases etc in there and then whenever people come over i can literally just go in the drawers and everything i need is there and then obviously this is set up like a sofa when no one's here but i kind of like it with just a sheet on because i think it looks a bit more like once i've got a throw over it'll be a bit more like just an actual sofa rather than a bed um which i kind of like because i want it to look like just a big sofa in my office <laughs> this is a great angle but you can now see the jumper really well which is fab let's get cleaning Yeah, live free, live free, speak your peace. Stay humble, stay humble in these streets, yeah. In these streets. Let's go. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. I feel like even though I did the office in the office like makeover video, which you'll have to check out if you haven't seen it already, that was basically me turning it from like the I've just moved in dumping ground to like a usable space. And now I've been here a while, I'm kind of trying to make everything look how I want it to look and like making it look like my home. And there's like a few bits that I've moved or changed or whatever. And I'm still kind of learning where I want things to be and like how I want things to be, which I think is kind of what happens anyway when you move into a new space, like you're always changing things and moving things and whatever. So for now, there's still a few bits I need to get, like I've ordered a lamp, which I need to check up on from next because it hasn't arrived yet and it probably should have done. But there's like a few little bits and pieces that are gonna go everywhere. Like these frames are gonna be changing, so I'm getting rid of both of these. I'm actually gonna be selling them on Facebook Marketplace, I think, because I don't personally want the frames or the pictures anymore. Like I just don't need them. So I'm gonna be giving them a new home. Then there's like random other bits of furniture and stuff that needs to go, which I'm gonna sort out today because I wanna get it gone before Christmas, like the sofa bed and there's like rugs and stuff that I just don't want anymore. So. I'm gonna be sorting all of that out, but obviously in that process, sorting this room out and making it look perfect and a little bit festive because there's not really much Christmas in here at the moment. The only Christmas is this. <laughs> and she's gonna be going on the bed in a minute because she's currently sat on top of the shelving unit, but she's gonna be finding a new home. And then there's like another few bits and pieces. So let's start first and foremost with clearing off the bed. I think that might be a good place to start. And then we can get this gigantic box opened and sorted and whatever. <laughs> What do we think of this throw hanging off like this? I don't know if I like it or not. I'm gonna go with it for now and like put the cushions on and see what I think when the cushions are on, but 
I just think it makes it look a bit less like a bed but I don't know if I'm going to end up tucking it in because I think I might potentially want it like tucked under I don't know or like maybe thrown over more like I don't know oh it's not focusing today I don't know whether to maybe have it like more thrown over the corner or something I don't really know right let's get the cushions out and we'll see but I am starting to lean now more towards like putting it over the corner and like draping it let's do that okay I'm not I'm not sold at all but we're gonna go ahead and put the cushions on and then we'll see what I think I in my head I thought this is a really good idea and now I'm like is it are you sure I, I just don't know we'll see let's get the cushions out shall we okay I forgot how much I ordered so we're gonna get all of it out but there's like a random candle which needs to go in the kitchen I got one of the big ones I'll explain in a second about that but this is basically everything I got. So I got loads of the pillows, which come in these really handy bags that I'm obviously not going to use for cushions right now, but they're really handy for like clothes storage. So get those out. So I think there's two big and three small. Yep. And then we have two of those, two of those. And then I also got a tote bag because these are really handy for when I do shoots and stuff and I need um, tote bags to put all my clothes in. Plus it's just kind of cute. I really like the colour of it. <laughs> that can go there for now. But yeah, let's start unpacking all of this and we can start getting it on. I cannot wait to show you what I've done actually because I'm really chuffed with like how it's all coming together and I really hope it looks as good as I want it to look when it's on the bed. In my head, the vision is there. Whether it comes to life or not, we'll find out in about 10 seconds time. But I've got like an idea of how I want it to look and then I'm gonna be reordering. Reordering. <laughs> just booted down the hallway. I've got like a really good idea of how I want it to look, but like I said, it just depends on like whether the colors work together. And I also want to change these prints, like I said, and they're going to be like a really nice, in my head, I'm thinking like line drawings to get like white frames, white and like line drawings, or get really soft neutral ones and you keep the border in the frame and make it like a really cute thing. Or I'm going to get a rail and put a few pictures on the rail, like, you know, the picture rails from Ikea, and then hang plants and stuff off and, like, put fairy lights underneath so that it looks really cute and cosy in here. But I'm not sure what I'm going with yet. I haven't decided, but I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards picture rail. And I'm thinking I'm going to get two of the long ones from Ikea, put them together so they go, like, the whole way along here. There's a lot of thoughts going around in my head at the moment, but let's put these cushions on the bed, shall we? Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch. If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York. We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies. And these girls going wild because they flashing they this litty. Watch your steps because these blocks be... We grew up on that bad boy in 96 with Diddy. Take a walk, come with me. Let me show you what really go down. Fiends on the corner, every hood got a deli or crowns. Cops pull us over, it don't matter if you black or you brown. City never sleeps, this the place the way hip hop was found. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the park. I don't like the throw. I've decided the throw doesn't go and it needs to be changed. So I'm thinking of getting the one off the living room sofa, which is just like thrown on the back which is grey, and putting that underneath because I think that might look a bit nicer because the neutrals are very like greyish. So even though these are like, I mean, I've kind of just thrown them back on for the sake of having to move the throw, but they're just kind of like very grey and I thought they were a lot more neutral. So I'm thinking this is going to have to be... The uh, thing is, if the pictures on the wall were nude, I think this would go, but I just, I'm not sold. I also think it's really hard to tell in this lighting because it's really dark today. So like this is what I'm dealing with when the light's not on. Okay, I think this is so much better, but <laughs> having this like that makes me realise how much I need to change this to the picture rail. So I think tomorrow or Wednesday I might have a little trip down to Ikea and buy the picture rail or I might try and get some online because there's a few little bits I want to get and I'm pretty sure I can get all of it online. But I definitely think picture rail with some kind of like greenery, like I'm thinking maybe get like a eucalyptus garland that can go alongside, have white picture frames on it, maybe like three or four at different sizes, different like some portrait, some landscape, the eucalyptus across it and then like string 
the wire fairy lights underneath so that it's really nice and cozy in here and then obviously this is all to be sorted now so I'm gonna get rid of this printer I need to get a magic eraser for this wall because where loads of stuff was on here before it's really grubby but I'm gonna get a magic eraser for that the printer's gonna move the books and stuff are gonna move and we're gonna make this corner look really cute in a minute and then it will just be really cozy annoyingly this isn't actually tall enough I thought it would be a bit higher next to it and then it would really stand out but when the lamp and stuff is there I'm sure it'll be really really cute um but it's annoying because I did kind of want to get like an over over lamp because I think where the bed needs to kind of be central there I think you can't really push it too far over because it'll be too tucked in the corner especially if you put the unit this side of the lamp I think it'll just be a bit messy or will it maybe I do that but I think it looks nice now because the bed and the like um the rug are in line with each other and they're in line with this side so maybe we leave that we're gonna leave it we're just gonna stop faffing but this all needs sorting and like there's just stuff so let's start with this first skyscrapers and bridges bright lights fast life manhattan living cross over downtown welcome to the concrete the nets to barclays the mets to yankees ubers and yellow taxis and while my fitted with some butters we her savvy when tight jeans was baggy from jfk to laguardia city that never sleeps insomnia home of junior mafia word Playground parks with the trees and the cars Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store Subway stations with the maps and the cars Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York Right, I was on the FaceTime to my auntie for a little while there and had to stop filming stuff because I just got really distracted and couldn't <laughs> fathom how to do everything at once. <laughs> but there is still like the odd box and stuff, but this is what I've done right now. So let me give you a little overview. I'm actually gonna shut the curtains because it is now dark anyway. So this is what the office looks like when you walk in. It's deceptively small on camera. Like this is a king size bed and it doesn't even come to like there. So it is a very big room, but when you walk in, I've just got these cowbells, which I got from Austria a few years ago. They're, me and my mum basically picked them up together. And I really love them. So they're just by the door. We've got a little sand hat in the mirror because I feel like this room needs a little bit of Christmas. So that's there. Then you've got my wardrobe. Obviously there's nothing on there. It's just some um hats been hung back up nothing has changed here and then on this side obviously i've sorted the bed out so the blankets are in here this is basically just spare blankets from around the flat so like if i'm in the living room and i want to get a bit more cozy i bring them out of here if i change over my bed ones which sometimes i do so like sometimes i'll change the whole color scheme of my room and like if depending what bedding i have on my bed depends on what throw i use so they're like just spare ones for as and when i change things and actually the gr the gray the grayish kind of one that was on my bed um, on the sofa is now in there just because it doesn't go i'm gonna have a look when it's light another day but for now it's not on here and then like i said these are going to eventually change but for right now they're just staying then we've got the day bed here with my little christmas mini and obviously all the cushions this is nice and cozy and comfortable and i can still get to the drawers which i like and then we've got this little side 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 table so i've just got one of my books here that i want to read next um a little candle a little christmas tree thing from home sense and some flowers and then the idea is that this can be used kind of during the day as like a little place for me to sit and work or like if i'm filming i can sit on there if i'm getting work done at my desk and i've got a friend here that's working as well like they can sit on there or like we can just chat in here like it's just basically a bit more of like a cozy space and i think it's nice to have this room especially with the bed because i can kind of just like come and sit in here if i don't want to be distracted by the tv or something and just like read my book or whatever um so yeah that's basically what this room looks like now um i do i will leave all the links down below to everything but i need to try and kind of move all of this stuff in the hallway because there's now just like boxes and stuff everywhere but i'm dying for a wee so i'm gonna go to the toilet and then i'll catch up with you in a sec hang on i'm having one of those days where like the smallest thing just sends you into like a really uneasy spiral of like i don't even know what but i'm trying really hard to just like not think about it at all and just like be which sounds really silly but like when i moved in on my own i found that i had to deal with things a lot more because obviously you don't have like the comfort of leaning on someone else to like pull you out of that you kind of have to do it yourself and it is a big learning curve because i think it takes a lot to pull yourself out of like a really unhealthy mindset of being like oh i feel really down and really sad and like Meh. it's hard to bring yourself out of that but i'm trying and I'm I'm doing it 
I sat on the floor for about an hour and a half texting my friends and then I was like, I need to get up and actually live my life. I can't just sit on the floor forever. Mm. So it is now four o'clock. I am sat on the sofa and I'm editing a video for tonight because I missed last night's vlog and I don't want to miss another one. So I'm going to see if I can just get some editing done and just get on with my day. Um, what is this? And then, yeah, we'll continue. But I've got an hour and a half to get a vlog edited. Which is really annoying because I somehow wiped my computer and got rid of the vlog that I had done. <sighs> I can't even think straight. I'm going to talk in like five minutes when I've got my brain back. Like. <laughs> 